everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pressure Crisp, starring me, Lisa. Um, today on Pressure Crisp, we're going to be actually making meatloaf and mashed potatoes in the Ninja Foodie. We're going to be using the pressure cook method for the meatloaf, and as well as the potatoes, do a pot and pot method, and it's going to be delicious. So to get started today, we're actually going to sear saute the vegetables that we're going to be putting into the meatloaf. So the Ninja Foodie's already on. We're just gonna go to sear saute, it defaults to high, and we're gonna press start. Okay, so it's been warming up. We're just gonna put a splash of olive oil in there. The Ninja Foodie pot has come up to temperature. We're just gonna go ahead and add the onion. This is one cup of onion. We're also going to add three quarters of a cup of diced red pepper. You can use green pepper if you wish. We're gonna add a little bit of salt to this, not much, just a pinch. Also a little black pepper. And we're just gonna give it a stir. Now we're gonna cook these probably close to five minutes. I find I've made this recipe, I don't know how many times, maybe four times. And I find that doing this extra step, actually the meatloaf tastes better. So they've been cooking for about four minutes. We're just gonna go ahead and put in two to three cloves of minced garlic. I'm just gonna stir this in. Oh, this, this is smelling great already. We're just gonna cook the garlic probably for a minute to two minutes. All right, so, so this is done sauteing. We're gonna take this bowl out of here and pour these vegetables off into another dish. So what you see in front of you is two pounds of ground beef slash hamburger. We're going to go ahead and add our ingredients that are needed for that. We're going to put in three quarters of a cup of, uh, I'm using seasoned bread breadcrumbs today. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of chopped parsley. We're also going to add a tablespoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce. We're also going to add two tablespoons of milk. We're going to add a teaspoon of ground black pepper. We're also gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. Also, you're gonna add two whole eggs. And then you're gonna go ahead and add the vegetables that we just sauteed up. Make sure they're cool enough to add to this meat mixture. It's time to roll up your sleeves. If you have gloves, you can wear gloves. If not, just use your hands. And we're just gonna mix this up. Now you don't want to squeeze this and you want to be kind of gentle with it, but give it a nice good mix. So we're going to take that Seyon pot that we have. It's the pot and pot. We're going to actually take that meatloaf mixture and put it right in this pot. There we go. Whoops. Two pounds of beef will fit in here. What I do, you're just going to press this down just like so. All right, let me go wash my hands. Then you're gonna take your lid and you're just gonna put it right on top of the pot. So to your Ninja Foodie, you make sure the ceramic bowl is in there. You're just gonna take one cup of water and put it right in there. You're also going to use the enclosed metal trivet that came with it and you're gonna take the pot, the Seyon pot, and put it right on there. So you're gonna grab it by the handles and you can put it right in here. Now we also want to make mashed potatoes. So what I have here is about a pound and a half of potatoes. I'm just gonna go leave them whole and I'm just gonna put them right on top. There we go. Might have to cut some of these in half just to make them fit better. There we go. There's the potatoes on top. You're gonna go ahead and take your pressure lid, put it right on top, make sure it's set to seal. You're going to hit pressure. It automatically defaults to high. And the time, we're gonna up this to 35 minutes. Whoops. And you're just gonna hit start. It's been cooking for 35 minutes, so now we're going to do a five minute natural release. So the five minute natural release is up, now we're going to do a manual venting. All right, so red tab is down. We're gonna go ahead and open, take the lid off. Once again, open it away from you because it's gonna be hot and steamy. Shake the lid, put it off to the side. We're going to take these potatoes and put them in a bowl. Now we're going to um, lift this pot out and just put it on the counter for right now. 
Once again, please be careful lifting this out. These potholes, this is pretty cool. It's amazing how fast these things actually um, cool off. So it's gonna lift it up. There's hot water on the top, so be careful. So let's just go ahead and take that top off. I'm actually gonna use a pair of tongs because there's a, quite a bit of water in here. It is beautiful. We're gonna do a quick temp on it. All right, 154, perfect. Because we're actually going to air crisp this now. Now we're gonna take this meatloaf out of here and we're going to put it into the tender crisp basket and then we're just gonna put a simple glaze on top. I'm just gonna move that over there for a second. I have the tender crisp basket. I made an aluminum sling so it'll be easier for me to get it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that meatloaf in here. Okay, so just to make that simple glaze, we're just going to take ketchup. I'm really not gonna measure anything. That's probably like a half a cup of ketchup. We're gonna take yellow mustard. There we go, just a little bit. We're also gonna take some Worcestershire sauce and just sprinkle a little in. Then we're just gonna whisk this together. And we're just gonna glaze it right over the top of the meatloaf. We're gonna take a spatula, we're just gonna pour this right on top, just like that. Now we're gonna take our brush. And you're just gonna brush this across the top of the meatloaf. So now we're gonna pick this up and we're just gonna put it right in the Ninja Foodie. All right, so we're going to hit broil. We're gonna just set the time for, let's set it for seven minutes and hit start. All right, so on to the potatoes. I'm just gonna take a potato masher and just mash them up just a little bit. They're still steaming hot. All right, so to this, I'm gonna add some salt. We're gonna go ahead and add some pepper. You can add as, as little or as much as you want. Add some butter, a couple tablespoons. Also, just a little bit of milk. And we're just gonna mix this all up. Okay, you can go ahead if you can add more milk or you can use half and half heavy cream whatever you have you can even add sour cream if you want i'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of that milk and i ended up adding sour cream because i found some in the refrigerator a couple tablespoons of sour cream a couple tablespoons of butter and probably like a quarter cup to a half a cup of milk went into these mashed potatoes and these are delicious. Oh, I did add a bit more salt too. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful meatloaf. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the Ninja Foodie. I'm going to plate it up and we're gonna do a taste test. Okay, here's that taste test. Let me show you what this uh, two pound meatloaf looks like. Do a little bit of a close up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's not overdone. It's moist. It's great. Let's do a taste test. Give you a little bit of a close up here. There it is right there. We have the mashed potatoes and the meatloaf. Let's go for the meatloaf first. Take a taste. Oops, I keep dropping the pieces here. Mmm. Cooked perfectly. It's delicious. It's moist, super moist. It's so good. Mmm. Let's try those potatoes. Mmm. It's got the milk, the butter, the sour cream. Unfortunately, full of fat, but it's so good. So please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.